The Cave of Evil, also known as the Darkside Cave, was a cave present upon the planet of Dagobah that contained a powerful manifestation of the Dark Side of the Force. A focal point of the Dark Side, the cave provided those who entered it with visions of the past, future, or potential future outcomes, and preyed upon the individual's greatest fears and the Dark Side of their own inner nature. Of course, the Cave of Evil is most notable as the place that Luke would enter under his tutelage of Yoda, depicted in The Empire Strikes Back. Upon entering the cave, he'd be confronted by the form of Darth Vader, with Luke eventually defeating Vader in a duel and recognizing his need for further training to avoid an undesirable fate. But what exactly was it that Luke faced in the Cave of Evil? A dark side vision? A physical manifestation of the dark side produced by the cave itself? In this video expose, I will explain how the Phantom who confronted not just Luke but also Yoda was actually a dark spirit of a dark Jedi, and describe how this dark spirit came to exist within the cave upon Dagobah. In the final year of the Clone War, a crisis broke out upon the planet of Bafash, which threatened the entire Sluis sector of the galaxy. A group of Bafashi Dark Jedi were responsible for a destructive reign of terror that was significant enough to come to the attention of the Republic and the Jedi Order, despite their focus upon the Clone War. To deal with the group of Dark Jedi, Yoda himself led a task force to put an end to the uprising and attempt to bring stability back to the Bafash system. As they succeeded in their mission, Yoda confronted the last remaining Bafashi Dark Jedi and engaged him in a duel. During their duel, the Dark Jedi was mortally wounded by the Jedi Grandmaster. But despite his fatal injury, the Darksider was able to escape by stealing a smuggling vessel. However, the Dark Jedi wasn't able to get far and would ultimately land upon Dagobah. Retreating into a cave upon the planet, which we know is the site of the Cave of Evil, the Dark Jedi finally gave in to his fatal wound and died within the cave. However, just as was done roughly 700 years earlier, when a Dark Jedi was killed at the site of the cave by the Jedi Minch that would give rise to the dark nature of the Cave of Evil, a story we'll have to save for a later date, the cave absorbed the dark energies of the Bafashi Dark Jedi. This act gave rise to the creation of a dark spirit that would haunt and reside within the Cave of Evil upon Dagobah. The Dark Spirit was a manifestation of the Dark Side itself, and was able to shift its appearance to resemble that which those who confronted it feared the most, or that which best represented their inner dark nature. Although bound to the Cave of Evil, the Dark Spirit was able to wander the swamps of Dagobah, being detected only by those who were Force-sensitive. Unsurprisingly, given the dark origins of the spirit and the nature of the Cave of Evil, the dark spirit radiated hatred and fear, which would work to further intimidate those who confronted it. Importantly, it should be noted that the dark spirit was different from a force ghost, in that its appearance before its rival seemed completely real and concrete, giving little indication that the phantom wasn't real. Although the Dark Spirit confronted a number of individuals over the years who would enter the cave, two of its most notable opponents were Yoda and Luke, and in both circumstances, appeared before them as that which they feared most, or as a manifestation of their internal dark nature. Not long after Yoda decided to reside upon Dagobah following the rise of the Galactic Empire, he would explore the Cave of Evil, bringing him face to face with the Dark Spirit. In the case of Yoda, the spirit appeared before the Jedi Master as his greatest adversary, the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious. Roughly 22 years later, we would see Luke confront the Dark Spirit as part of his training from Yoda. In the case of Luke, the spirit would appear before him as the Sith Lord Darth Vader, representing Luke's own inner darkness, and upon the Dark Spirit's defeat, showed that Luke required more training to prevent that darkness from consuming him. So there we have it, how the death of a dark Jedi gave rise to the dark spirit that would confront both Luke and Yoda in the Cave of Evil. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Minch.